Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm just looking at my little alfalfa sprouts here. Hang on, let's get rid of them. That's better. Um, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. You returning subscribers will know that I do this every single month. It's my end of month update. So the things that I have completed this month, just gone. So this one I'm doing for October. What I hope to achieve in November, um, all of my empties, the things that I've been loving, the things that I haven't been loving, things that I wouldn't repurchase. Um, but I love to do these videos. One, I love to watch them. <sighs> can't cope. This plug is making me feel like I can't cope. And my lamp is making me feel like I'm sat in a 1960s hairdresser's. Anyway, um, yeah, these videos keep me accountable, so they make me work that little bit harder throughout the month because I have to share it with you. Every January, not every January, but at the beginning of the year, I set myself goals throughout the whole year, the things that I want to achieve, but I need to break them down into bite-sized chunks, so every single month, but you guys know that, right? You guys, you guys that are always here, you know that. So let me tell you, let me start off with what my goals were this month, and then I'll tell you how we did. Spoiler alert. That's how we did. Well, not the first one. The first one was my Instagram goal. So my goal was to hit 13,800 followers on Instagram throughout the month of October. So I started on 13.318. I finished on 13.901, which means I grew it by 583. So yeah, I hit my target and did a little bit more, which makes me super happy. So I've set my goal for November and I would really, really like to hit 14,200 in November. If I can go higher, that makes me so much happier because I want to hit 15,000. Oh, I like this thumbnail. now. Thanks, guys. You're the most patient ever. Um, 15,000 by the end of the year. So it, I've given myself the whole year to hit 15,000. But I feel like I'm on track with Instagram. That feels like a good one. Okay. My next one, the one that I am really, well, you know, I'm filming now, so you know, but my YouTube goal was to hit 550. I started at 482 and then I finished on 476. Not, not really going in the right direction, Cal, but we're working on it, but it's a personal goal. So it, I have to keep myself accountable. And I like Instagram. Instagram's a really cool place, but YouTube is my baby. So my goal for YouTube was to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. I know it's November. I'm not writing myself off, okay? I'm not writing myself off yet. So yeah, we didn't do so well on that one. The next one was my goal to lose four pounds in October. I didn't even lose one, not even one pound. I stayed exactly the same, which I guess is good. I didn't gain, but I didn't even lose a pound. So, I mean, it's looking like I'm gonna have to lose a stone between November and December. Guys, there are mince pies to be eaten and there are, you know, boxes of celebrations and tiger bread. I know that might sound quite random to you guys, but I'm going back to the UK and I haven't had tiger bread for such a long time and I just feel like I'm gonna eat it, like the whole loaf. Mm, like, oh. So yeah, it's gonna be difficult for me, but I'm gonna try and stay on track as much as I can. So yeah, right, so I didn't do that. So my goal, to lose two stone before the end of the year. I'm not so on track with that one either, but we're working on it, you know, we're working on it. Every single day, sorry, reading a message. Every single day, 
I am trying harder and harder to achieve something so that at the end of the year, I can be like, 2022 was your year. It was your year. Right, so let's go on to empties really quickly. I don't have a lot for you this month. I just don't. It's a bit pathetic. I have lots of, wow, lots of repeats apparently. Shampoo and conditioner, one of my favorites from the UK, but I can't get it here. So my mum and dad came over a couple of weeks ago and they stayed at the Barcelo. I hate this bit, it's so dusty. Can you see that? I'd like to pretend it's fairy sparkles, but it's not, it's just us from where it's been in my bathroom. Um, yeah, so she brung over this and then used it twice and then left it for me. So happy girl, that makes me happy. I've also finished another cleanser. This one is only from Lidl. I mean, you'll know it's from Lidl. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't do anything terrible to my skin. It cleanses it. It's okay. It's okay, you know. What else have I got? Oh, this one I've been using. So this is the Tropic Skin Dream. It is a facial moisturiser, but I haven't been using it as a moisturiser. I've been using it on my elbows and my knees because it's too thick, too heavy, and it breaks me out. I know that so many girls swear by this, but it's just, not, I need something lighter. It's too heavy for me. But my elbows and my knees have looked banging. So that is a good one. I'm not saying I wouldn't repurchase it because, I mean, that's quite bougie for your elbows and your knees. Right now I've got two of the Hydra conditioners. I do get through a whole heap of conditioner because my hair is, I mean, it looks quite good today, but it is dead. And, you know, no other way of saying it, it's dead. Oh, this one. So this is, the, look how battered that is, how much I've used that. So this here is the company that I used to work for over here in Fortaventura. This is my ride or die. I absolutely love it. But I don't get a discount anymore, so I'm not gonna repurchase. But if I was going on holiday, I absolutely would repurchase. And I kind of found myself a little dupe. So that makes me happy. This is normally 20 euros, but yeah. So I, the quality of it, I would repurchase. I just don't feel like I need to right now. But if you're going on holiday, have a look for it online because it is so good as an after sun. Uh, toothpaste, my normal mac. How do I get through so much toothpaste? I just don't know, but I, I do get through so much toothpaste. Every toothpaste that we get is a whitening one. Although, oh my God, I have just seen on Hazel Maria Wood, Polished of London, Polished London, they have got a Christmas gift set at the moment. Everything in the gift set is for teeth whitening, obviously, is normally retails at 95 pounds but I think they're selling it for 45 pounds and Hazel has got a discount code. So I'll try and link Hazel's video below. Yeah, I'll do that, Cal. You can do that, but I am definitely gonna be purchasing that. Like what a discount is that? I'm gonna be purchasing that. My NYX pore filler, it had its day. No, I don't love it. I do believe that the benefit professional is much better than this one. This is quite cheap, but it was quite silicony and it kind of, when it comes out, it wasn't a vibe. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Now, guys, if you've been watching my vlogs, you would have seen I repurchased this because honestly, there was nothing else I could do with it. It's dried up so much that I was putting stuff in, it just, it wasn't cool. And I've used the same one again today and my brows so easy, so quick to do and I didn't have to fill them in. So yeah, I do love this as a pomade. The Tame and Frame by NYX, super good. I'm Espresso, which is quite dark. So that's a good one. 
And I've also been loving my oil burner. So Brett picked me up one from Lidl's. It's just like a little white oil burner. And it came with um, like six of these, <sighs> six of these little oil bottles. And they're all different scents, obviously, and for different moods. I haven't narrowed it down to one that I adore and one that I hate. So I'll see, I'll just keep going with it. I know that there was one that Brett absolutely hated. He said it, it smelled like the, um, like DP in the rugby changing rooms. And I have them on in the bedroom. So he, that wasn't a vibe for him. That, that, you know, wasn't a good night. Um, but that's it. That's my monthly updates. What we're going to do going forward in November. My monthly empties. And that's it, guys. That's October's video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Please don't forget, all those goals are only achievable if you guys are here with me. So please don't forget to share my content if you can, if you think that there's someone else that you know that would enjoy my content, that would enjoy my English girl abroad vibes. Vibes? That was the sentence. Um, I do loads of fashion hauls, vlogs, lifestyle, home. Um, I'm also going to be doing my new little series on doing beautiful things or amazing experiences on a budget because I know that everyone is concerned about that right now, me included. I mean, I have just left my full-time job to do social media full-time. So I know everybody feels the pressure. And I have quite a knowledge on making little pennies go a long, long way. Um, so yeah, please subscribe to my channel, give it a big fat like and share my content if you can. Don't forget if you want to leave a comment because I love getting back to you all in the comments. It's my favorite thing to do. It's like, it's like someone's just phoned me. Like when I get a comment, I'm like, oh, Oh, it's my friend Kelly. Oh, it's my friend Katie. Oh, it's my friend Nicola. I just love it. It makes me so happy. So I would love to make our little community even bigger. But thank you so much for watching the videos, guys. And I'll see you all in the next one.